space friend would you believe i found yet another display lying around the ship the original owners really did not organize very well but now that this lovely item is mine, let's figure out how it works. OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. The difference in OLEDs and LEDs is that OLEDs use individual pixels that emit their own light instead of relying on a backlight. Some communicate via SPI protocol and others through I2C. The one I'm using today is a 7-pin colorful SPI device with an SSD 1331 integrated circuit. The SSD 1331 part is important to know because that will affect which library you use. The pins are VCC, Ground, SCL, SDA, Res, DC, and CS. Annoyingly, SPI devices aren't always consistent in their naming, so this SDA and SCL line might throw you off and make you think it's an I2C. As long as you can remember what those lines stand for, you can figure out how to translate the verbiage, though. SCL stands for Serial Clock Line, so on this device, that's the clock line. Other devices likely have this labeled SCK instead. SDA is the serial data line, which is the MOSI pin on SPI devices, so the main output secondary input. RES is a reset pin. DC is the data command selector pin that differentiates between data and commands that are sent to the display. CS is chip select that determines which device to talk to. To use this display, we need to install a few libraries. The first one is the SPI library, but that one already comes with Arduino, so you don't need to manually install it. We also need the Adafruit GFX and Adafruit SSD 1331 libraries. The GFX library provides graphics for the display and the SSD 1331 library is referring to the display type that I mentioned earlier. If yours is a different type, you just need to make sure that you search for the library that matches your device instead. To install these libraries, go to Tools, Manage Libraries, and search for the name of each library. It may give you the opportunity to install dependent libraries when you do one, so go ahead and install anything else required. For this project, we only need the OLED display and seven male to female jumper wires. First, we're gonna display some colors and shapes to it. We start by including our three libraries and setting our pins. Next, we're defining colors with hexadecimal digits. I'll include a really useful link in the description that gives you a hexadecimal value for any color you select so that you can add more. Adafruit Display is creating an object that references our physical display. Adafruit SSD 1331 is a class that manages the hardware interface for SSD 1331 ICs. It instantiates the driver with hardware SPI, which are pins 10 through 13 on the Arduino. The SPI argument is a pointer to the Arduino's primary SPI bus, and the following three are referencing the chip select, data command, and reset pins. In voice setup, we first have to put display.begin to initiate the display. Fill screen is exactly as it sounds, it just fills the screen with whatever color you put in the parentheses. You also use this function for clearing the display, so putting black as the argument basically just clears out the screen and erases any existing content. Draw fast V line draws a vertical line and it takes parameters for X axis, Y axis, height, and color. Draw fast H line is the same except it's a horizontal line. The X and Y axis are stating where you want the line to start on the screen. It's kind of like set cursor. If you have set cursor and you put zero, zero, it's gonna start at the very left-hand top corner of the screen. So an X, Y value of zero, zero would start at the same place as you would with set cursor. Draw triangle and fill triangle also do exactly what they sound like, and they take parameters for X zero, Y zero, X one, Y one, X two, and Y two to create the triangle shape and the color is the seventh parameter. Draw and fill rectangle takes arguments for x-axis, y-axis, width, height, and color. Draw and fill circle take arguments for x-axis, y-axis, radius, and color. Draw and fill round rectangle takes the same parameters as draw rectangle does. The only difference is the corners are rounded. Now when we run this code, it'll flash between a few different colors and then display these shapes that we drew. You can change all these values to make different shapes, sizes, colors, different places on the display. I messed around with it for quite a while, changing the location, shape, size, colors, just because it was weirdly relaxing. Beautiful. Now let's see how to write some text. Everything before the setup is exactly the same as before. We use begin to start the display, set cursor to set where we want the text to start at, and set text color to set the color of the text. Set text size sets the size, and each increase in size makes one pixel that much bigger. One is the default 6 by 8, 2 is 12 by 16, 3 is 18 by 24, and so on. Print works exactly like how we would use serial.print to print something to the serial monitor. Now when we run this code, 
whoa, look at that. The final thing I want to show you is the example codes. I'm not going to go over the code in detail line by line because it's pretty lengthy and it's not at beginner level, but it is cool just to run it and see some of the other things you can do with a library. Go to File, Examples, Adafruit OLED Driver Library for Arduino, and the example that I found most useful was Test. The other ones didn't really want to work for me or they required a lot of tweaking. Clicking on this test code will populate a new sketch with the code fully written so you can run it and see some of the other things you can display. As beautiful as space dogs snoring. Very impressive. Three displays down. Probably more to go when I find what other junk these previous disorganized owners left lying around. 